Hello, you're watching The Luna Show, and right now you're about to meet Aaliyah St. Clair. Right now we are with Aaliyah St. Clair, international mother of the House of St. Clair. What does international mother mean? It means that I mother wherever I go, you know, I don't care if I'm in China, Brazil, United States, or Yugoslavia, I'm gonna always be mother, honey. So you're like Mother Japan and Venezuela I'm and all Argentina. Of that, honey. <laughs> That's actually hot. Nobody I don't think I don't know anybody who has that title. I'm honored to have it, you know, I love my house, you know, so wherever I go, I'm gonna represent to the fullest. Mm -hmm. So tell me about how long you've been in the scene, how you started, how you got up in them. Well, um, it started when I was about 16. My father, Alberni Prestige, he brought me into the ballroom scene and I just started walking. I was actually walking face and runway at the time. As, but, a, as drag face? No, or actually, or as Butch Queen. Queen. <laughs> I was walking Butch Queen categories. But then I said, you know, I don't know right now. I think I need to pull away and get my life together and everything. Uh -huh. And that's what I did, you know. And then I say about two years ago, my cousin, Sean Sinclair, was like, you know what? You've been playing with it long enough. You've been doing these drag pageants and things for years. So I think you really need to come on and, you know, come in as, you know, Mother St. Clair. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, well, I think I'm ready now. You know, I'm more mature, so I think I can do it now. So, so that's you, how it happened. you started as the Prestige stuff? I started out as Bush Queen Prestige. Oh, okay. So since then, you've won many of the years. You basically rule a lot of the uh, drag categories. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> what is that like, winning of the years and being everybody's favorite top drag, basically performer, um, in the ballroom scene? Well, it actually, it's, it's, it's comforting. It's comforting knowing that I'm being accepted in a whole new world besides the pageant world. Um, it feels really, really good, you know. Hopefully I can continue to, you know, remain at rainy, miss best dress, miss tracks runway, you know, hopefully, you know. But it's always someone new, someone fresh, someone that I'm helping, you know, always it's always someone new. So I'm just glad that I'm having it right now. Mm -hmm. So tell me the difference between the pageant world and the ballroom world from your point of view. My point of view from the ballroom world is it's pretty much it's two different worlds. It's the same, but two different worlds. I, I, the, I take the, the pageant world to be way more critical. Because I personally, I can deal with the ballroom girls with their shade and all of that. But the pageant world is so cut and dry. It's either yes and no. Where you're getting judged so fiercely. Like, I'm doing evening gowns. Question and answer, presentation, personal interview. You know, they're getting really deep versus where the ballroom scene is, what they see before the eye right then at that moment. Uh -huh. You know, and if you're your girlfriend, you know how it goes. <laughs> but, but you know, I, me, myself, I'm very cut dry, you know, high and by, and, you know, I try to be myself more than anything. How many but, titles do you have in the pageant world? How many, many crowns times. do you own? I have a lot of crowns. I do. Um, I'm actually right now running for Miss Paradise in Asbury Park. It's Club Paradise, so I'm getting prepared for that. But I do hold a lot of titles. I'm a I'm former Miss Gay New Jersey, former Gay Miss New Jersey USA, former Miss Gay New Jersey International, uh, and a first runner up for everything. Uh, <laughs> I'm like the Susan Lucci of the pageant world. Have you? Uh, is your dream to go to Continental? Have you ever done Continental? You know, I'm. I personally have never been a Continental girl. I think I'm growing into a Continental girl, but I'm more of a Miss USA girl because uh -huh. they like to dance, the house down and sweat. <laughs> In the pageant world, who are your uh, the girls that you look up to? 
The girl that I look, I look up to the most has got to be Chevelle Brooks because that fat bitch dances the house down. <laughs> you know, and it's it, I I look up to girls who really work hard for what they get. You know, I'm I'm not ever one for something giving to me. I like to show and improve and as I come out, I want to say, I want you to say, okay, Aaliyah worked for what she got. She, no one, nothing was ever giving to her. So, and I take the same thing within the ballroom singing. You know, I try to let my drag, my clothes, my fashion, my walk, whatever it may be, I like to for it to speak for itself. That way, they can say, whenever I do become a legend, I earned it. Not ever giving to me. Uh, and in and in the ballroom scene, who do you look up to for in like drags categories? Drag categories. Well, you know what? There isn't many drags. I know <laughs> these all days. them queens, <laughs> and I do not. Do you ever want to be a queen? I never want to be a film queen. <laughs> I, I mean. Oh, I hate because I'm on camera saying this, but I'm such a dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, actually, I've seen some pictures of you as a boy, and I've seen you as a boy, and you're very but, attractive as a girl and as a boy. Bush Queen Sex Siren. <laughs> when, I've been, when I'm done with drag, I'm definitely going into the Bush Queen categories as either Sex Siren or Bush Queen Runway, whatever the case may be, because this is not what I want to do for life. You know, but, Have you ever had sex as, uh, in drag? Sex and drag? <laughs> <laughs> I have, and it's been one... It's been an experience. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, do you do also drag, uh, like, uh, lip sync and stuff like that? Like, yes, that's what I started off. I started off as drag performance. Um, have you ever performed at Escolito or anywhere in New yes, York? Yes, I, I perform in drag a lot. I, do, I actually, I open up a lot of the balls here at the Rumble. You know, in drags, you know, I do a lot of the shows, everything, I open up, you know, that's what I love to do, I love to perform. So what's next for you? I mean, I know you said the pageants and uh, becoming a legend eventually in, in, in the ballroom scene, like, but personally for you, what's next? next. What haven't you conquered? What haven't <laughs> I conquered? I think next for me would definitely be... Getting married. I, you know, I have a lover, and you know, I'm very happy right now. So let's see where that goes. You uh -huh. know, love you, LJ, and <laughs> and plug, look, plug that in so he know I'm talking about him. And you know, you know, let's see where that goes. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my goal to be happy in my relationship and go from there. Uh -huh. And when you get married, are you gonna wear a dress or a white tuxedo? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a tuxedo. <laughs> You know, I just gotta ask. You definitely have to ask. My boyfriend does <laughs> He loves, he supports me very much in my drag career. But when it comes to our personal life, he loves, he loves Ian. Uh, <laughs> Not Aaliyah. Uh, okay. <laughs> So what's one message you would tell the girls who want to walk the same categories that you have and want to get into the pageant world? What will you tell those girls? I will also tell them, I will tell those girls is, if you're going to do what I do, you have to commit to it. You cannot have step it. You have to put on your makeup. You have to put on your garments. You have to put on your hair. Because all these things make up the individual. So you cannot say... Oh, you know, I'm real, so I could just do this. No, you have to put on the whole concept, and that's what's going to make you the woman that you want to be. All right, well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right, thank you so much. <laughs>